In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some Capture One hacks specific to editing color. So Capture One is the professional industry standard raw editor, comes with a lot of power, control and customization. So these are a little bit lesser known tools, but they're tools that I use in my workflow and they really help me with my editing. Hi, I'm Rachel Koenig, professional food photographer, helping you edit incredible photos that are good enough to eat. So we're going to be looking at the color range tool, how to create color masks using the normalize tool, preview color profiles and using styles in layers. The first tool we're going to look at is the color range tool, which you can find in the basic color editor. Now the idea behind this tool is that we can expand any predefined color ranges so we can really customize our color adjustment. You will find the color range tool in the color editor in the basic section. Then you'll see these three little dots here. If you click that, it's going to give you the option to edit those color ranges. So these are the color ranges that are predefined by Capture One. And you can also go ahead and customize that. So I can say I want a little bit less pink, and a little bit more red when I edit my reds. In my yellows as well, I could say I want a little bit more green or less green in that range. And then you just hit apply. And that's going to allow you to expand those color ranges so you can get very specific with your color edits in the basic color editor. Now this has to be one of my favorite color hacks in Capture One. So you can head into the advanced color tool and you can select any color range you want and easily turn it into a mask. By putting that color onto a specific layer, you can go ahead and have amazing control over what you wanna do with your edits to that specific color. So in the color editor, if you go ahead and jump into the advanced tab, you simply just need to select a color. So let's select the peaches here. And then once you have that particular color range on, you simply head to uh, more options here and we have a create mask layer from selection. Now Capture One is going to take a few moments and it's going to pop those colors onto a separate layer. So Capture One popped this mask into our layers and it's specifically targeting this yellow color. So we can go ahead and do any further color adjustments. The next tool is the Normalize tool, which a lot of people don't use because they're not sure how to. So this tool is here to help us create a base between images and sessions for white balance and exposure of a specific color range that we're selecting. The normalize tool is going to help us achieve the same white balance and exposure between photos and sessions. So I'm going to go ahead and select the color I want to normalize. And then I'm going to apply it to this darker side over here where the lighting perhaps is a little bit darker. And I can go ahead and do that across photos as well. If you're a professional photographer, you probably work in different color profiles and different color spaces, depending on the client and the output of the file. So in Capture One, it is really handy to be able to preview and proof any color profiles before you send them off to clients. It is really easy to go ahead and proof a color profile. Now, when I'm shooting for books and there's a very specific color profile that the publisher needs, I go ahead and upload that color profile to Capture One. Then I can go ahead and proof that color profile to make sure it looks really good before I send it off to the client. Now, if you don't have the proofing shortcut, you can simply head to view proof profile and you can go ahead and look at the different profiles that Capture One has and any that you've specifically uploaded so that you can make any final adjustments before sending it off to the client. Our last tool involves styles. Now styles are Capture One's style presets. That's why they're called styles. And styles are a great way to add a feeling via color through your image. In Capture One, you can put a style onto a layer to have further control over how that style looks on your image. So if you head to the style tab, if you have your own custom styles, or if you wanna use the ones that are built into Capture One, you can go ahead and have a look and see how these affect your images from a color standpoint. So I like this one here, but I feel like it's a little heavy to what I'm going for. So you can simply right click and go add to a new layer. And I'm going to jump into my layers tab here and you'll see that it's popped the style across the entire image onto a new layer here. Now the beautiful thing is that we can go ahead and change the opacity so I can really control how this style is going to affect the color and the look in my image. A cool way that we can use styles in layers 
is that you can go ahead and add as many styles as you want. So I might find something else that I like that I want to layer upon and I can go ahead and keep adding these different styles to layers and changing their opacity to get a really customizable look. Now, if you're ready to take your editing to the next level in Capture One and unlock the secrets to the industry's most powerful raw editor, then make sure to check out my online masterclass, CaptureOneMagic.com.